Okay, okay, we have our cheap financial officer on board with everything, so hopefully we're gonna be fine. Let's cook the books. Hello, hello, and welcome back to exactly where we left off last time. I'm not recording it straight away, I'm recording it later in the day. Sorry, later in the day. Later in the week, actually, I'm recording it in the afternoon of the 3rd of May. Happy, I, I don't know actually what, what happy is today. Um, we do have a big farm here planned, big pharma here planned. So I think we can go for like cattle production and stuff. But I think I did previously like really nice calculation about this. I'm not sure how it's gonna work. Now. Why is this one stopped again? Is it workers or something? Because they do have cold. I don't know. That's weird. Um, well, looks like it is workers, but seriously, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that should be fine. <clears throat> I, I thought frequency of vehicles coming here should be extremely great, like ten vehicles. No, it's only four. Well, hey ho! I uh, still four vehicles from from here to here. We should have decent amount of people in between, unless we had some kind of a rush hour or some, something bad happened. So I'm gonna leave this one alone and expect that it's gonna be fixed on its own. I mean, can you blame me? Like this is this is how we calculate. And the, the other times, it could be that the vehicle doesn't deliver enough coal. Should I just stop working with this one? Should I just shut it down? I mean, like ah, it's giving some heat for surrounding buildings as well. Well, I can. What I can do is um, uh, I can disconnect it from the city and just uh, have it, you know, heat surrounding area. That's gonna reduce the coal consumption. How is our heating plan doing here? Again, 60%. That seems to look a little bit a lot, especially if it's 17 degrees outside. So this is quite a lot. So they're consuming a lot of oil. Whoa. Oh, we have enough oil. We well, should have enough oil. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, like, 100 days, 100, um, 100 tons here, 100 tons here should be, like, currently 135 tons, 5 tons per day in maximum consumption. I don't know. They should have be having some support here. Uh, some oil coming. Let's see. Refinery. Is this the only oil truck coming in here? Seriously? They're, they are consuming more than this? Wait a minute. Wait until loaded. Yeah, so they're consuming more than this uh, while the truck is going there and reloading and coming back. Hmm, interesting. Um, I can assign another one, but uh, do we really want to stop um, missing oil? Missing oil. Missing oil. Are you missing oil? Uh, how much tons uh, does it say here? Half a ton. That seems very low. Why is it more here than there? That's interesting. Look at this. It doesn't go over... Six. Where the hell is oil going? Five. Okay, there was a thousand now there. Interesting, interesting. Uh, one, one ton, actually. One thousand. Uh, not a thousand. Thousand kilos or whatever. One ton of oil was going there, but like, ugh, this looks like the oil field is not so productive. I mean, I don't want to introduce trucks importing oil or even trains at the moment, at the moment. We'll see. Like, it's it's an old uh, tried and true the, the, the system of importing, uh, import-export, uh, import-based economy. I'm more looking forward to this um, uh, vehicle, actually. Um, uh, being operational, uh, the first one ever, we're gonna be putting it in the uh, in the railroad construction office there. We can put a second one there as well, because we're gonna soon start on the second railroad uh, project uh, of connecting railroad over here. We already have this one almost done, almost finished. Are these people walking to... No, they're not. They're being delivered. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, so, uh, comment section. Comment section. We have a cheap financial officer saying the trucks are using the bypass yes they are yeah I it is when you forbid them to go this way they're using a bypass and every city my my suggestion to everybody here when you start a new city build a bypass forbid the heavy goods vehicles going through the city like for example here 
Oof, we should probably even have a bypass there. It doesn't have to be, like, you don't have to build a bypass, like a circular bypass. Like, for example, here, city center needs to be avoided. You can build, we can build it here, for example. And you know what? I'm gonna do it. Uh, it's already done. We have... Uh, uh, heavy goods vehicle, no heavy goods vehicle sign there. We have no heavy goods vehicle sign there. So they have to go all around here if they want to go somewhere. We can do the same from this side because they will be using this as well. So if we go here and prevent them from using no heavy good vehicles, there we go. So they will not be able to go in here, but they will be able to go in here, which we're going to prevent as well. So all the vehicles will have to go. Uh, we'll have to go and use this road and then this road. Yes, it's going to be disrupting this a little bit. And there's the, where's the hospital around here? There was a hospital. We have a courthouse, which looks like it's working fine. Um, 81% happiness. This is quite, quite nice. Uh, we have most of the stuff automated already and nuclear industries. This is a little bit on a sad part. We are almost done. We're, we're done with nuclear industries. We just need to... Well, practically just finish it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's have this local construction. Uh, what do we have here? The the fuel station not working? Perfect. We have the fueling station over here. We have fueling trucks here. And they have capacity. Absolutely perfect. Stunning. Eye candy. Like leak is gameplay. And eye candy. This is the, the best of the best of the best, sir. So this has electricity. It's going to have fuel shortly. Uh, what I'm going to do now is assign uh, workers. I'm going to assign all the materials that they're going to need uh, for, for operation. This is the construction office. That is going to be kind of general construction office for everything except... Oh, no, even workers. Even workers. I think I said it. Even workers. Um, and then most of the other materials are going to be from here. Okay, I'm going to have to do it manually. Uh, we can do it like this. Uh, go here. Escape. Press it here again. So all materials from here are going to be in this road cargo station. Steel, bricks, prefabs, yes, all of it. What are we missing here? A little bit of steel. Okay, and then, <coughs> excuse me, and then we have gravel, uh, concrete, and asphalt. That's it. These three and these five, and that's it. Uh, we should have all the materials here as well. We have a lot of food. We have we have everything. We should be fine. Uh, happiness just dropped. That's a little bit worrying. Oh, Blinky Blink is back. Blinky Blinky, what a wonderful toy. Blinky Blinky for every girl and boy. Uh, right, so it's not here. So the problem is not here. Let's see, blinking where it's happening. I'm pausing this. Uh, pausing this and then we need to find the blinky machine blinky machine here yeah this one is blinking as well again the same problem cables in this game uh, the problem with this game is the cables cables in this game are just not pro providing enough power this one here uh, is you can see here in in numbers uh, well, actually, this one is this one has overhead cables which are close to maximum. But looks like this is not enough. It looks like we even here I'm gonna have to have another uh, substation just because consumption of electricity. But seriously, like did really everyone started using? Let's see this. Okay, it stopped now. I need to see this happening because looks like this is consuming enormous amounts of power. At, at least enormous amounts of power is going through this substation. Health risk. Shocked. Is that it? Are you building or not? Oh, it's paused. Sorry, my bad. Okay, the, the blinking is stopped, but uh, I don't think it's still over. I'm going to try to address that later. I'm getting a headache for, because of this game, but hey-ho. Uh, sewing is happening. Uh, construction projects, yeah. Uh, I'm going to inspect construction projects in the game. In the last episode, we talked about the tourism and we are uh, done here. But unfortunately, we still don't have electricity delivered. So we're going to have to have electricity delivered over here. And seriously, that's way too much alcohol. Let's go 90 like this. And uh, we need electricity. That would be... Oh, what about this? This is assigned... Yeah, annoyingly. Now you're gonna. I'm now gonna show you why Leaky doesn't to use uh, these construction offices usually. Um, these big construction offices that have everything assigned to well everything. It's this. 
all of these construction projects that they have, they're literally going to abandon this project here. Uh, and um, they're going to abandon this project and they're going to focus on every other project first before they do this. Now, I'm, I'm kind of hoping, what is this? This is bringing some people. Uh, I don't know where the cranes are. Let's go and inspect where the cranes are. A crane. Okay, we're going to have to manually find the crane trucks. Bulldozer. Okay, no directly visible PZ. That's a bus. Covered mixer, dumper. Open hull, excavator, mixer, crane. There we go. Where are you? Oh, Jesus freaking Christ. I, I don't get it, 3 Division. Come on, get your shit together. Look at this. Like, how? Like, 2 kilometers. I, I put this construction office to 2 kilometer range. 2 kilometer range, you painted it yourselves. What the freaking hell is this? Like, look at this. This is the range of this construction office, and this is what I do. You see this? This is outside of the office. And then on the outside of that city, boom, other side of the city, we have the uh, railroad construction office. So can I remove it? Will it be permanently removed? Let's see if you will. <sighs> bad word, bad word, bad word, extra bad word. This is what I'm saying at the moment. Okay. Anyway, uh, first railroad vehicle is built. Okay, new home, new home over here. Perfect. So this is gonna be... Uh, how am I supposed to sell this vehicle now? Can I... S oh, I can actually sell it. Should I sell it? I wanna sell it. Uh, I wanna sell it. Yeah. Uh, I wanna sell that vehicle. I want to deal only with this one. Now, this one is gonna be... Uh, this one is gonna be here shortly. And then hopefully we're gonna get all the workers that we need here. And we need gonna because this vehicle can carry way, way, way more resources than the other one. I need to bear in mind how much resources they're gonna be consuming, so I can uh, you know add vehicles to the distribution of delivering uh, stuff here. So yeah, this is this is like uh, our pride and joy, joy, joy. So hopefully the road railroad but to the border crossing is gonna be done in seconds. No, I don't know. We'll see. But it's not only about a uh, railroad to the uh, border crossing. We're going to have to expand this. We're going to have to build a railroad parking space here. Overpasses, that's not going to be related to railroad. Um, uh, second lane line, second railroad uh, next to this one. Uh, potentially start on a coal exporting, which probably should be one of the priorities. But again, we need to, before we start sending trains, like unloading there, selling trains is one thing, but sending trains to unload stuff here like export with trains uh we're gonna have to build a parking space line in line back all this stuff and that's gonna cost a lot of money okay okay that being said uh 60 people can work here hopefully they're gonna start getting more more work how many workers are in range here uh one two all these two buildings 50 here that's 100 people and 60 of them they we need 180 but you know what why the hell not let's do that let's do that uh no school okay we need the school here what else do i need uh children no school we need to do that. Uh, deal with that meat there's no meat here why is there no meat here do you have a meat truck meat train meat truck where are you Right, probably because we had issues with deliveries previously, uh, that now, uh, let's see this, is you is, uh, okay, let's check this, need truck, is where, ooh, he's going in the wrong direction, that means he picked up all the meat that he's supposed to have, where's the meat that he's supposed to have, non-existent. Okay, so we have a meat problem here. Now, meat problem is not really a problem of our people uh, starving and this kind of stuff. No, it's just a problem of our people uh, being extra happy. So we will have to address this. And this is where I said that we should start producing our own meat. Which, um, why the hell not? Let's do a time lapse and uh, let's uh, design our farming area over here that uh, we're supposed to be producing meat with. And uh, potentially even start doing it, well, eventually. Um, in the short term, I'm going to have to uh, put more vehicles importing meat to uh, Port Elgin. Anyway, uh, let's start with that. See you in five.
Right, 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 right. Let, let's go, let's go. Um, right, um, I have a problem with these buildings here. They're not working anywhere. Uh, that's usually a problem uh, like we had in the Chibovo part of Murmansk. Uh, we had the issues with uh, people not working here. Now suddenly everybody does. Um, there's a couple of ways of resolving this. First of all, these houses here were built because in theory they were supposed to be within walking distance to the railroad construction office and uh, just now there's not enough work for everybody here so we need to create work but then again when you create work it doesn't guarantee that they're gonna go there so what we have to do is the closest like we have a lot of uh, people like uh, looking for work in um, port elgin port elgin currently has where where is you uh where's unemployed people here here we go, unemployed 400 people. So yeah, we have 400 people that need employment. Unfortunately, we still... Oh, actually, this is close to maximum. Let's see if we can get more people here. How are we doing with the railroad? The railroad is, well, doing. Um, I built the whole neighborhood here with a um, new, well, old, whatever. Yugoslav 1980s duplex. Uh, uh, housing these are really beautiful buildings i'm gonna uh you're gonna see them when they're done they should be in walking this is this is like 10 of them that's 80 people can work can live in these houses uh we do need 180 uh we do have 100 here sorry we need the yeah, 180 we do have 100 over here we can literally tell them that this is where they're gonna go for work but we're gonna build the uh, houses first yes they are close to the heating plant but uh, there's a plans of phasing this out plus i increase the amount of tankers now delivering oil to here so the, 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 that means we're gonna have a problem with um oh, sorry it's over here we're gonna have a problem with fuel supplies to the um uh, refinery as you can see there's four different trucks already filling this you know filling oil so that's gonna be interesting how we're gonna deal with this because um the, now we're not producing any fuels and bitumen uh currently wow 30 percent at fuel um <laughs> this is probably a good thing that we have this um delayed cocker that is taking uh excess um that is taking excess uh bitumen and turning it back into fuel and does create coal and uh for the brick uh, brick factory here um right uh next thing um the fa the farm here uh we need electricity i did start with uh sewage we're gonna need electricity heating is not required but we're gonna need water as well so uh we can do that we have some time we have some time leaky had a long day at work today so sorry about that uh, it's just uh, a little bit crazy so if my brain is not uh, working uh gooder or as good as usually you know sharp sharp wits and all um it's it's because of that so long long day and here we go uh, we're gonna go for this this is gonna extend water all the way here in the suburbs i will place uh switch somewhere on here seriously it's not allowing me to build it anywhere. We can build it in the field here. I wonder how it's going to react. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's build it in the field here. And then we're going to have the uh, water switch. We're going to go for a normal ones, not the vanilla ones. So let's go for a normal one. Anything else needs water here? This is the slaughterhouse. This is the farm. Uh, this is the silo. Everything is connected. This should be working. F3, F1, escape. Let me just show you how it looks like. We're going to have bypass road here where the tractors are going to be using. I'm pretty sure they're going to be using it. And we have the, we're going to have normal traffic uh, signage here that normal um, cars can go. But unfortunately, another reason why I don't have these because of this these construction offices that Mormon's construction office general G, G, GCO general construction office uh, just because they don't have enough vehicles and everything else like there's many 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 problems that these have like if you have built one construction this is uh, uh, pointed out by stats we had uh, Mr. Moore and stats uh, in Alaska series pointing out the ways how you can set up the vehicles this is when they taught me how uh, every building has a construction stages and that um, different offices are the when you assign them at different times send different vehicles and when you separate construction offices um, as you need them like we did uh, let's say over here uh, near the port elging area 
support Elgin. Uh, this is the best way for you to work. Like, when I have quickly footpath office that only constructs footpaths has small gra gravel dumpers and small buses um, we have road construction area that only constructs roads uh, that means that they have uh, flatbed trucks um, sorry they have flatbed trucks uh, and the road construction vehicles you have dumper separate construction office that does all the dumper work and you look at this look how many dumper trucks we have here if we had to build the roads like this this would be done in minutes. They would deliver all the gravel in minutes. Now this one here has six dumper trucks or maybe even eight. I'm not gonna count them now. Six or eight dumper trucks. They're gonna take ages to deliver this. Plus, plus, they have so many construction projects assigned that they, who knows when they're gonna come to, you know, uh, uh, come to their senses to do this. Let me just see uh, how much I freaking hate this game. And uh, developers as well uh, is this again they're assigning these houses by automation let me just try to unassign them like this there we go hopefully they'll never uh, hopefully I'll never see them again this one but no, it's definitely not. No, it's just not functioning. This game is just not functioning. Sorry. Why is Murmansk construction office working on footpaths over here that are so, so far away? I have no idea. But reasons. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to just automatically be reassigned or, or assigned to some other uh, construction projects. But it's just, just really, really annoying. Uh, so, yeah. Let's remove this one as well. I don't know if they're assigned to any other construction office. But anyway, anyway. Uh, railroad construction vehicles. Railroad construction vehicles. Uh, the second one is being built. Unfortunately, we still don't have railroad uh, built to the border crossing. Uh, hopefully, we're going to have it soon. But we're going to have to start on another project. That would be uh, Railroad Depot. Railroad Depot is another uh, animal that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, this is where we can... Um, no, it, no, distribution office is not going to work. Distribution, a railroad distribution office, I don't think it's going to be able to export uh, railroad vehicles that we want to sell. Uh, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to go and build a railroad depot first. So we're going to go for the railroads uh, and then depot, a uh, big one. Maybe big one, why, why the hell not? We have space, so let's not be cheeky about this. Let's just build it. Yeah, not sure if this is the best. Yeah, so this one and then we need the, let's do it like this. Um, yeah, I think initially this is going to be fine, but you can see here that it's going to be this is going to be fine, but I'm going to have to make a loop for them to return here and construct this. I'll, I'll leave them alone for now. Let them do the voodoo that they do do so well. Um, what about the bypasses here? Bypasses are being used uh, a lot. I, I really don't like this. I don't like that uh, I was right because now I can't really upgrade this road because it's being used. Uh, bit by bit. Yeah, what the hell. Let's just do it. Uh, please have a road office. Please have a, a dumpers and road construction office assigned to this. Please, 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 please. By automation, of course. They should be. They should be. Uh, yeah, I, I hate it. I hate this setup. I hate this uh, vanilla standard setup that everybody sets up their construction offices. I just uh, think it's extremely inefficient and inefficient, and uh, I think it's just bad. Okay. Uh, I said that we're going to go, and I have no idea. Oh, right. The railroad here. Uh, we said that we're gonna go and finish the um, the sewage um, and some other stuff for farming area. Uh, so should we go and do it? Probably we should. Let me just play around a little bit stupidity over here. Allow me a little bit of stupidity. Ha! <laughs> You're allowing me too much stupidity. Um, yeah, so they can construct this as well. The railroad is gonna be constructed differently, so we're gonna be able to... Uh, buy a vehicle, but uh, we're gonna have to re reconstruct this railroad as well. Anyway, there's gonna be a lot of work waiting for us. Uh, materials don't look like to be, it doesn't look like they're gonna be a problem. We are dropping a little bit with uh, prefab panels and a little bit with the steel, and I'm pretty sure. Oh, we are, are we actually? 
What's the 80%? No, no, we're not. This is how it's supposed to be. So it looks like these guys are delivering everything that we need. Fuel, electrical components. Uh, that's for electricity hoses. We'll see how that's going to work. Uh, because if I'm not going to electrify the railroads, uh, it's going to be hell to pay because um, I need to implement then fueling stations and stuff. I'm leaning towards electric, but we'll see. Uh, sewage, next time. We're not going to do it this time. Uh, we have farm, silo, uh, cattle farm, and slaughterhouse straight away. Get them while they're hot. That's it. I'm leaving it here. 81% happiness, so it's increasing. I'm happy to see that. Hopefully, it's going to stay like that. I'm going to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification, bell, ring in the comment section. Hit it. And if you want to support the channel, I have a description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next. Bye-bye.